guys, how's it going? It's me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I almost forgot what to say, I like to make reseller content. I'll do what's sold videos, I'll do unboxings like this, I'll do all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So again, I'm sorry, I had to take my mic off because I need to charge my phone. It's dying and I am going into the city in an hour for my husband's work party thing. But these boxes just came in and I'm really excited to open them for you guys. So I'm trying to go through these a bit quicker. And by the way, welcome to day six <laughs> of Thriftmas. So if you celebrate, I hope you guys are having a great time. This box came from Georgia and as always, I'll put the pricing information up on the screen. It's been a long time since I got a denim box. Really did not need to get any more denim. I've actually been having a really hard time moving my denim lately, which is wild because I love to sell denim and it usually sells decently well for me year round. But with it being fall and everything, I don't know. It just, I don't know. So these are usually $50 and then plus $10 shipping, which is so silly that they do now. Um, and then tax, and I may or may not have had a $20 coupon. I can't remember which boxes I used my coupons on and which ones I didn't, which if you didn't know, which I didn't know, if you have like points on ThreadUp from buying stuff, you can convert that into coupons. If you have enough, you could get a $20 coupon. But yeah, fingers crossed that we get some good brands. Again, I love to sell denim. This is my cat plotting her jump into the box. It's huge, that's why it's on the ground. But yeah, just fingers crossed. I just hope good sizes, good quality denim, good brands. Uh, that's all you can really ask for. But these are pretty cute. These I think someone probably cut themselves. They're a pair of Levi's 505. And yeah, they were 30 by 30. These seem very small for a 30. These are definitely older. They had the paper tag that's pretty worn off and the label's pretty worn. But these are really cute. You guys might remember um i think two years ago or maybe earlier i showed you guys how i made cut off shorts out of um vintage or older denim um i haven't done that in a while i don't think they're as popular as they used to be but since those are already cut for me i will sell them a pair of express jeans i like the middle seam i never know what to call those Ooh, and they have a little slit at the bottom which is actually pretty trendy right now you know, skinny isn't the most popular, but I do know people are, some people are still looking for them. Um, these are a legging mid-rise. You could probably hear it. She hears the leaves falling and blowing by, and I'm pretty sure she thinks they're mice when they like skid across like our balcony, and she just freaks out. These are four short. So I actually will look into selling these, maybe not for much, as long as they're in good condition. And maybe I could find a model photo for them. Okay, these are pale pink. I'm like, is this white? What is this? Pale pink, blank NYC, very distressed. I don't know how trendy distressed jeans are really anymore. And they're distressed on the back of the leg, which is kind of odd. I don't do too poorly with the brand blank NYC, but I am very, very picky with it. I usually just stick to their genuine leather jackets. I've sold some of their faux leather moto jackets, but unless I'm getting them for really cheap, I would not pick them up. They're a size 27, and I don't see a style name. They do seem like they might be like a straight leg. I will look them up and we'll see. I don't know, not terrible. Okay, here is an old pair of page jeans, though they don't have any of that puckering or pulling that you usually see on the front. That's their older label. They're size 28, but they are like a flare. And because they don't have that pulling, I actually might try and list these. I don't know. I have not had luck at all selling Paige. Some of their newer, very trendy styles I've picked, I paid up for, believe it or not. Um, these are the Manning jean. So again, I'll look into these. They're actually not too bad. This box came from Georgia. I don't think I mentioned that. And my last bulk boxes that I got that were really good came from Georgia. So I was kind of excited. All right, here's another pair of Express jeans. These seem to be a little bit older and they have all that pulling and puckering I was talking about. Also super 
like embroidered top stitch. These are the skinny Stella low rise. Wow. Also in a four short, probably the same person. These are going to be a pass. I have mentioned a couple of times that I'm getting a, my mother-in-law's old sewing machine for Christmas or at some point. Um, so I might keep some of these things to, I don't know, do stuff with, but we'll see. These are just Calvin Klein jeans, an eight by 30 or an eight or 30, I don't know. I'm not gonna sell these. Calvin Klein denim, I've seen sold at like Costco and it just does not do well for me. So I will pass. And I know a lot of people when they get like these bigger boxes have really good plans for the stuff, whether they're gonna try and take some stuff to Plato's Closet or other consignment stores or have like a rummage sale or a garage sale or what have you. I do not really have <laughs> all those options. I have a Plato's Closet, but it's like 30 minutes away and they're very picky. I don't really have the normal consignment stores around here that are kind of like Plato's Closet where I could just give them things. They're like, they need to be on hangers. They need to be like, ironed and steamed and I'll, they'll only take like 20 pieces at a time and that's just not worth all my energy at this point it's either stuff I want to sell maybe stuff I'll bring to Plato's Closet if I ever get around to actually going and then donating stuff to Savers and getting a 20% off coupon and using it to buy more inventory but yeah these are the skinny these are from White House Black Market and they're a size two they're actually kind of cute. They're distressed, but they have like these sequins in the back. I don't hate those. These are also in really, really nice condition and a dark wash. I might look into listing those. I wish I had them earlier to list because sequin I feel like is pretty popular for like um, the new year and Christmas. Here is an older kind of like Y2K piece. The brand is Bongo and it says it's a 14 and a half plus. I wonder if this is a kid's. I might list this on Depop or maybe attempt to take this to Plato's Closet. I don't know. I don't know how popular denim jackets are right now. And again, I think that might be a kid's. So I don't know about that piece. Here's another pale pink piece. This is Morona, which is Target size, extra small, but definitely oversized. This is pretty cute. I don't know how well a pale pink denim jacket would do, but you know, I'll try it out. Okay, I haven't heard of this brand. I think someone might have cut these themselves. They're very short. Bosini, these might be a men's jean. They're not looking super, they don't feel great and they're not looking super great. I will look them up, but they have a very short inseam they're a size 28 and that's the brand, Bosini. The button doesn't have the name of the brand on it and neither do any of the rivets. So that's usually a good sign that they're, it's not worth a lot. Also, it feels awful, feels worse than the Target denim jacket. Okay, old Mos Mossimo, can't talk, pair of jeans, obviously. <laughs> Mid-rise straight size eight short gonna pass on those again I do have a lot of denim right now so I really don't need any more but I was hoping to get some good brands in here here's a pair of old navy diva jeans definitely older I don't even know if they do the old navy diva line anymore you'll have to let me know but they're a size four not bad but I will pass on those I think they're a skinny all right here's a pair of Madewell jeans <laughs> They seem to be in a black wash. What are they? Nine inch high rise skinny size 28. I'll probably try and list these just to get some more money back, but I have not sold a pair of Madewell jeans in a hot minute and I have a lot. But since these are a pretty dark black wash and not super faded, I'll probably try. I'll try, I'll list them low, like really low. So sad about Madewell going downhill in value. Here's another older pair of Gap jeans. These are the legging high stretch something or other in a four short. Gonna pass on those. What is this? A skirt. Oh, it's a Zara skirt. I like selling skirts. That's pretty cute. 
or maybe oh yeah it is zara i'm like what zara authentic denim by trf which is their trophallic collection and it's a u.s size small i'll have to button it all up but that's actually really cute lucky brand size eight ankle so probably a skinny jean as long as these are in good condition i'll actually probably try and list these i don't love to sell lucky brand at all like anything from them but since i have these jeans i will try and since they're like a size eight i think i've had good luck selling bigger sizes if anything so these are ag which is um adriana goldschmied a pardon you don't do that these are the legging ankle super skinny ankle I might list these. They kind of seem like they might have been cut. Yeah, maybe. Oh, is there a slit? Oh, and they have a ribbit. Maybe not. They have a slit. I'll look into these. They seem a little bit older from AG. They are a light wash. They do have some pulling in the front, but we'll see. I can't say no to everything. Oh, this is my maybe pile. It's quite large. Here's an old pair of Maurice's. These are like the old flare style, the hole in the knee. These I'll pass on. Oh, I really hope I get one like really good brand. Okay, here's a brand I do like to sell. I don't find, I don't pick it up because it doesn't sell for much. So unless it's at the bins, I don't pick it up. Um, but these are the Mom Fit and they're a size 29. So not too bad. I don't know if I said the name of the brand, it's Can Can. <laughs> Light wash, some pulling in the front, but not too bad. And then distressed. I actually have a new tag pair of can can jeans I've had for a while that I thought would do better, but they are like distressed and light wash. So they might do better in the summer or spring. Let's hope. I wear denim year round. I know not everyone feels that way, but I love jeans. <laughs> okay, I've never heard of this brand. It's, I think it's called Blue Motion Denim Wear. I'll have to look that up. They're the skinny. And yeah, they look like that. Some distressing it looks like. Yeah, with that weird patch behind detail that I never understood. Yeah, I don't know. I've never heard of that. Size 36, which I'm not sure what that means because those are not a 36. I love denim. <laughs> I just love looking in the box and seeing all this denim. These are so jeans, which is Kohl's maybe? Skinny, light wash, at least 10. Cute, but not worth a listing, in my opinion. <laughs> Here's an old pair of American Eagle. Are these men's? Yes, that's the men's pocket, if you're ever wondering. <laughs> Probably don't need to commit that to memory. These are the original straight. Please be my husband's size. Extreme Flex 4. Awesome. All right. My husband actually, because well, I usually go to the bins once a week. I didn't end up going this week because I knew I had these boxes coming and I'm mostly just focusing on getting ready for the holidays and leaving. He wanted me to pick him up a pair of jeans. Perfect. Those are for him. He's gonna make them into cutoff shorts, so it doesn't really matter that the inseam's not his length. Here is an overall dress. Pretty cute, light wash. It is from H&M. Yeah, they're divided line and it's a size zero. I'll probably try and list this. I don't do well with H&M, like at all. Like I do better with other fast fashion brands than H&M, but it is pretty cute. I think it might sell on Mercari. Here is a pair of De Decree jeans uh super straight pretty old size seven so a junior size i will pass on these they do have interesting pockets though oh geez <laughs> what is this lark lane maybe um it's like a denim jacket with all this like bedazzled collar more mature look it says it's a 14 petite i'll have to look up this brand but if it's not anything i'm just gonna pass because it's not the cutest looking jacket in my opinion 
It also doesn't feel super high quality. All right, a pair of kids jeans. You could tell because the button adjusts, makes them bigger or smaller. Skinny, distressed. Ballerina jeggings, size 12. They are a good size. And the ripping seems to be in good condition. I don't know, I'll think about that. I also don't have like a kids consignment store near me. So I, if I did, trust me, I'd be picking up kid stuff left and right like at the bins and bringing it to them for extra money, but I don't. Here is a pair of Levi's, 569, 34 by 34. Maybe my husband wants to turn those into shorts. Oh, my cat is sitting on those jeans. They don't really seem to be like Levi's that are gonna get me a lot. I also don't pick up a lot of Levi's. <laughs> and I see a lot. Oh, these are also men's. These are American Eagle 28 by 30, so too small for him. They're the skinny. My lighting's getting dark. It's been raining all day, but the sun finally came out. Dark wash, distressed. These I'll probably try and list. They're newer American Eagle. Oh, these are cute. Here's a pair of cute Levi's. These are teeny tiny. Um, 501. Uh, there's that label for the newer styles that have the capital E on the jeans. Do these have a style? 501 skinny. Button fly. I'll probably list these. What's the size? Like 25, 24, 26. Oof. I will probably try and list these even though they are skinny, just because they're a really nice wash. And yeah, I love Levi's. I love a good pair of Levi's. These are interesting. I've never heard of this brand. I also can't read it. So we, so we, S-I-W-Y. Um, these don't feel great, but they're definitely unique, like black tie-dye than like these embossed back pockets and as you saw the inner tag is very interesting made with love in the u.s size 25 i'll look them up maybe i could sell them for like 15 20 maybe more if it's a good brand but they just don't feel great though so, some expensive brands make really cheap quality stuff which i feel like we all know i've never heard of this either the perfect jean skinny fit I imagine they look like a woman's jean, but they say they're 36, 28. Again, they don't feel great. They say they're from September of 2021. And they do have a logo back here. They have some signs of being like a high quality denim. Oh, it also looks like somebody might have hemmed them themselves maybe. Again, I will look it up, we'll see. Another pair of American Eagle jeans. These are probably men's as well, yeah. American Eagle, tiny again. These are the Slim 2830. I would lot these with those other ones of the same size, but I don't think somebody would want them. Even though they're probably donated by the same person, I don't think somebody would buy two really different pairs of denim. B Huntington, oh no, Bullhead. Bullhead, which is sold packs on maybe older flare not that flare is bad um, I'm just very very picky about denim right now in general but also like it has to be probably a good brand for me to do a flare here's an old navy jacket in a size extra small um, basic lightweight light distressing very tiny I might list it Definitely older though. My cat wants this box so bad. Please don't go in there. I'm not done. Oh my God. Here is a pair of maternity jeans, which can be good. Um, like I've sold Madewell, I've sold Paige maternity jeans, but these, I've, oh, these are J brand. P collection. So these are J brand maternity jeans. I've actually sold J brand maternity shorts in the past. I think I sell them at the bins. If it's a good brand and it's maternity, I will pick it up at the bins <laughs> to resell. Maybe I'd pay up for it if they were something good. I don't see a size off the top, but I will sell these. Are you nesting? 
give. Oh my God, she's so mad at me. She's like, I'm sitting on these. American Eagle, super <laughs> distressed. Mom, Jean, size zero. These I'm going to pass on. I don't think they're supposed to be like that. Maybe, but I don't think so. Sunny, you've gotta be kidding me. Denizen, which is a lower end line of Levi's. Um, modern skinny crop. I have sold Denizen before, but only once. I picked it up at the bins because it was a uh, bigger size and new with tags. I don't even see a size. Things I'm gonna pass on. A pair of Hollister jeans. Skinny, distressed at the knee. Size 24, which is a zero. And it's a zero long. Also has some puckering at the front. I don't do super well with pieces like that from Hollister. I will pick them up occasionally at the bins if they're like a modern, if it's a modern piece, not just denim, but like, I don't know, sweaters and stuff. Here is Old Navy Pop Icon Skinny. Just a pretty simple pair of skinny blue jeans from Old Navy in a size six. I might sell these, I don't know. <laughs> They're in good condition. Here is a pair of seven for all mankind. They're the Lux vintage style, Josephina. Did somebody cut the size out? I'll have to look closer for a size later if I'm gonna sell them. Seven for all mankind can do okay. I'll have to look up this style but they're like a gray skinny jean mid-rise. Probably will pass on, but I will look them up. Here is a pair of Old Navy Rockstar skinny jeans, but like in a green color. If this was like two years ago, I'd probably list these, but um, the size was cut out. Definitely gonna pass on these. I'm almost done. You're slowing me down. Another pair of American Eagle jeans. These are the jegging, super distressed, size double zero. These also have like the backing on it. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll list these. I don't know. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason sometimes to what I wanna list and what I don't. These are Universal Thread, which is Target, size four, high rise, skinny jean, in like a bleach wash. These I'll pass on. Sorry, you can hear the screaming kids in my apartment complex that are screaming all the time. Honestly, I can't complain because I just, I literally couldn't imagine living in a two bedroom apartment with like multiple children. I can barely live here with my husband and my two cats. Um, these are American Eagle 90s low rise straight. So a decent style and a size eight. So a decent size. They have that like missing back pocket look. These I'll probably try and list. I don't really list American Eagle unless it's like plus size or pick it up, I guess. All right, Hollister in a seven long, skinny, distressed. I'll pass on these. Just USA. I feel like I've sold these before, but I think they're kind of a cheapy juniors brand. These are 27 petite in like a teal green color. I'm gonna pass on these. I'm still hoping to have one really good brand in here like Mother, a Goldie. These are garage denim and these are the mom jean. I think the mom jean is kind of out of style, but these are actually kind of cute. Raw hem, which I don't know, they might've cut themselves. But if I think denim can photograph well, sometimes I will list it. Did I say what size? Size 25, teeny tiny. Here is a mud vest with a hood on it which is actually kind of cute the hood is removable i'm not seeing a size but i might list this based on style sometimes these more unique pieces like jackets with hoods are harder to find i'll try and show you guys her without my camera falling over Sunny. I feel like every time I show you guys something that my, like with reselling that my cats are in, people like freak out that I have cats around my clothes and that I don't mention on my listings that I have pets, but if people have an allergy, they can always ask. I would assume that everyone has pets. I don't let them in my office. I lint roll things and I wash things and I do as best I can and it hasn't been a problem. 
So that's just how I live. These are Gap, what did I say? Legging jean and a 28 short. I'm gonna pass on those. All right, my cat's finally out of the box. I have three pieces left. Yunina, what is that? Sold from Lulu's, I wanna say. It's been a long time since I've sold this brand, but I have sold it and it's done well in the past. Size five, Clara High Rise Skinny Crop. I don't know about Skinny Crop, but I'll look into that. Another pair of shorts, very blue, Arizona. I feel like this wash of blue just reads so cheap. Pass on those. And the last pair, another pair of Calvin Klein jeans. These look like men's jeans, 38.30 straight. I will pass on these. All right, I'm going to quickly, quickly count and I will let you know and I'll be right back. All right, so I got 52 items in this 50 pound box. Again, I'll have on the screen how much it cost or, you know, price per good. I'd say about half of these I'm definitely not gonna sell. And I'll probably end up only selling around 20 pairs. Again, I'm gonna comp things, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm not too disappointed. I've definitely got better ones in the past. You can't really complain as long as you got, you know, a good handful of things to list to make your money back. That's all you can really ask for. So thank you guys so much for watching. I gotta say hi. I know. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Let us know if you know anything about these brands that I didn't know about or if you've gotten this box before and how you feel. But yeah, we hope you guys are having a great, great holiday season. We have one more video and we're hoping you guys are having a great holiday and a Merry Christmas if you're celebrating. And yeah, say bye. Bye. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a great time sourcing and selling and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye. You want to say bye? Bye. bye.